Hi, I'm Kim, and today Fujifilm have released their plugin for Mac for their Fujifilm webcam app. And this allows you to use your Fuji camera as a webcam by just plugging it straight into your Mac over USB. Similar to a video I did uh, a little while ago about piggybacking a couple of apps together to make it work. So now you don't need to do that. You just need to run this in the background, install it basically, and it'll work. So how do you install it? Well, you need to go onto Fujifilm's website at fujifilmx.com, then click on support, and then downloads. In there, you can click on the large software icon, which will load the page where you can download the webcam software from. Now, if you haven't uh, been on fujifilmx.com before, it's a great resource, lots of information about all their cameras and other media they produce, including the great movie, or rather documentary that Pally Schultz made uh, called Camera Punk. Definitely worth a watch. It's really, really nice. He's done a really good job doing that. Uh, it was very pleasurable and beautiful movie to watch. Anyway, back to this. Once you click on downloads, you can scroll down that and then click on the terms and conditions um, and download. Now you might want to note that not every Fuji camera is going to work, uh, same as we referenced in our last video. So the camera models which do work are the GFX 100, the 50S and R, uh, all the XT line except for the XT1 and 100, uh, but that has its own plug in the XT100, the XT1 just won't work. And obviously the X-Pro 3 X-Pro 2 work as well. It won't take long to download, it's quite a small app, but once it does, you just install it in the same way. You just double click it and it'll go ahead and start its installation process. Just agree to the usual terms that you do with these things, if you ever read them, I never do. And you, then you can just click on install. Now it'll give you a little pop-up warning telling you it's going to need to restart your computer. So you might want to consider saving anything you have open before you do that. And once you do that, the computer will restart and your plugin's installed. And there's nothing else to do. There's no settings, there's nothing to run, there's no app there. So all you gotta do is plug in your Fuji camera over a USB cable to your Mac and it'll just work. Open up Zoom or whatever streaming platform you're going to use and you should be able to select it from the video menus there. If you don't see that, then perhaps reference my other video and you'll have a little bit of terminal code to put in there and that will de-sign the app. Uh, which should allow this to work very well. If you do get stuck, maybe let me know in the comments. And while you're in there, maybe give me a like and subscribe and help me grow the channel. That'd be great and I'd appreciate it. Thanks. I do read all the comments. So if you do have any issues in there, let me know and I'll try to help as best as I can. I do appreciate all the like and support that I get on it. So here's a few tips to help you get the most of your camera when it's plugged in. Now you're going to lose control of the camera once you plug it in over USB with this app running. So to get the most of that, I would suggest you turn off exposure preview and white balance in the menu. And that will just give you a preview on the back screen of the camera, which is correctly exposed. Uh, when you plug this in, then you're gonna get that feed coming in. So there's no need to really mess with any of the settings like the ISO or the shutter speed. You're just gonna get the correct exposure straight away. And that's very useful. To get the AF working, I'd suggest you turn on pre-AF in the menu, and that will have the camera pre-AF for you. And that will work once it's over USB. Uh, I find that works best with continuous mode on. Um, you can also turn on face and eye detect beforehand and that will track you uh, rather wonderfully. Uh, you can also then set up uh, your sensitivity speeds in continuous. So how much speed you want out of the AF and how sensitive you want that tracking to be. Uh, I'm using a 16 to 55 here and I have my sensitivity at plus one, my tracking at minus two because I probably move about too much on screen and I want it to follow me. And that works very well. So the last thing is no audio is transmitted over USB. So you might want to consider that as well. If you're going to be close to your computer, like I guess a lot of people will be using this, then it's not really going to be a problem. You can just use the mics built into your computer. But if you do want to up your game, you could use the headphones that come with your phone. They have a lovely little microphone which sits here and that's quite close to your mouth. So you're naturally going to get good audio because of its proximity. Um, also the cancellation software doesn't have to work as well. So your sound is in your ear and the mic isn't really picking that up. So you're gonna have a better continuous stream of being able to hear and talk at the same time without anything cutting out on you. Um, you could go to the expense of sticking up an expensive shotgun mic or a, a lav mic in there as well if you really wanna go for it, but that might be overkill for a lot of people. So this should be a very straightforward tool for anybody out there. Once you install it and plug in over USB, it's just gonna work. But please consider what I just said about getting the most out of it first. If you enjoy this content, maybe give me a like, and if you wanna subscribe, that'd help me grow the channel. That'd be fantastic too. And remember to let me know how you get on in the comments. I do read them all and I really appreciate getting them. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey, don't start it yet. I've gotta make the popcorn first.